Hi everyone, Allison here from the Protocase Designer team. Today I'm going to go over how to create machined pockets in Protocase Designer. First I'll go over how pockets are made and why they're useful. Then I'm going to show you how to create pockets in Protocase Designer and explain the few design guidelines that you'll need to keep in mind. So essentially pockets are indented areas on a panel or enclosure which are made using a CNC router or CNC mill. Pockets are most commonly used to have components sit flush with the protruding face, such as an LCD display. Pockets come in handy when you're designing an enclosure that uses a thicker panel for better rigidity and durability. Often, the components that protrude the front panel aren't long enough to pass through the panel and make the required connection. A pocket removes that extra material in the front panel, which allows the component to sit flush and make its required connection. You can also employ pockets to create counter bores. A counter bore is a drilled hole that has a flat bottom enlargement at its mouth, as opposed to a countersink, which is a drilled hole that has an angled shape. Counter bores are used to accommodate different types of screws, particularly socket head cap screws, to ensure the screw sits flush with the material surface. And finally, many designers choose to use pockets in their design for aesthetic reasons. They like the streamlined look that's created when their components sit flush with the surface. Pockets can also be used simply for decorative reasons and visual interest, as you can see in this example. Whatever the reason, pockets are a simple way to create a fully custom design in Protocase Designer. Let's go over how to do it. So if you've already watched our tutorial about creating countersinks in Protocase Designer, you'll notice that many of the principles are very similar. You can create a pocket out of any cutout that you create. For this example, I'm going to use a flat panel. So aluminum is the ideal choice for creating pockets because we can use both our CNC routers and CNC mills. However, you can create pockets on any of the sheet metals that we offer, including cold rolled steel, galvanil, stainless steel, and even copper. Now that I have my aluminum panel created, I'll then go into the face editor by clicking on edit face on the left hand side and then choose this face on the panel. To make a pocket, you first need to make a cutout. You can create pockets out of any of Protocase Designer's standard shapes like rectangles, circles, or you can even create a custom shape for your pocket, such as a hexagon or an asymmetrical rectangle. I'm going to go with a rectangle shape to start, so I'll remain in cutout mode and under Create Draw, I'll select Rectangle and then draw a rectangle. On the right hand side in the Properties panel, you'll see a checkbox that says Pocket. With your object selected, you can click on this checkbox to make a pocket. So next, you'll need to customize your pocket according to your specs. Here you can change the corner radius for your pocket. The term corner radius means the radius of the circle created when you extend the corner to form a complete circle. So due to the geometry of tooling, no corner radius can ever have a 90 degree profile cut and the higher the radius, the more rounded your pocket's corners will be. In order to account for our tooling limitations, the minimum corner radius for your pocket must be 0 0.016 inches. So for this quick example, if I change the corner radius to 0 0.025, it will make the pocket's corners more rounded. The other way you can customize your pocket is by determining how deep you want the pocket to be. The one important thing to keep in mind when it comes to depth is that you need to ensure there's at least a minimum thickness of 0 0.06 inches remaining after the pocket is milled. So if you're using a thinner metal in your design, your pocket will therefore need to be on the thinner side as well. If you try to create a pocket that doesn't have at least 0 0.06 inches of metal remaining, Protocase Designer will flag this at the quoting stage and prompt you to fix it. One more thing. Some combinations of pocket depth and corner radius may require tools that aren't in stock. In these cases, a member of our engineering and design services team will reach out to you. They'll review your design to see if you'd like to either adjust your pocket so that it can be completed with stock tooling, or we can also source the tooling required for additional lead time and fee. That's all you need to know about creating pockets in Protocase Designer. I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment below or email us at info at protocasedesigner.com. Thanks very much for watching and happy designing.